Hi. Now in this question then, what I've done is I've copied the graph that we're given of y equals f of x and we're told it has this maximum stationary point at minus 2, 5 and an asymptote y equals 1. And we've got to sketch these other graphs that I've written in green. y equals f of x then plus 2, y equals 4 f of x and y equals f of all of x plus 1. Now this question is based on transformations of graphs and if you're not sure about transformations of graphs just go on my website look in the index under transformations of graphs and you'll see these explained in more detail. Okay well first of all then in part A we've got to draw y equals f of x and then plus 2 and what this is going to do is translate the graph of y equals f of x by two units, up two units, parallel to the y-axis. So to do this, just imagine tracing over the graph of y equals f of x. I'm going to do this in green here, okay? So we'll just come up through here, over the top, and then we've got the curve approaching the asymptote, but never crossing it, okay? So that's y equals f of x, but what we've got to do is translate this, slide it up, move it up two units. So it's going to do something like this, okay? It's not really drawn to scale, but hopefully it will give you some idea. Okay, so we've got to put on the point here, the maximum turning point. So its x value is going to be exactly the same. It'll be minus two, but five units now goes up by two, so it's going to go to seven. So this point here will be at minus 2, 7. And we've also got to put the new asymptote in. And the new asymptote, which we'll draw in a dotted line, well it was at 1, so if that goes up by 2 units, it's now going to be at y equals 3. So we we'll just try and draw that in, so it's going to look something like that, okay? And we'll mark in that that is y equals 3. OK, we'll just remove the previous graph. So that's what you should have, something looking like that. OK, we'll move on to the second one now, part B. Now in part B, we've got to draw then the graph of y equals 4f of x. And what this does is it stretches the graph by a scale factor of 4 parallel to the y-axis and any points on the x-axis, like this one here, stay invariant. That is, they just stay where they are. So when it comes to drawing this one, this point's going to be at the same place. This point here, however, is going to be stretched out by a scale factor of 4. So this y-value of 5 is now going to be pulled to 5 fours of 20, way up here. Well, I can't draw it on this to scale, so I'm just going to imagine that that is that point there, okay? As for this point here, it's going to be pulled down by a factor of 4. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to be way down here, but again I'm going to have to reduce the scale. So we'll just say that that's that point about there, okay? And what else have we got? This point here, where it crosses the y-axis, well, that's going to go up by a factor of 4. So let's just imagine it's somewhere there. As the curve approaches the asymptote at y equals 1, it's going to have a new asymptote, 4 times more, y equals 4. OK, so we'll imagine that the curve is starting to come down at this point here. So if I can draw that in, we're going to get something looking like this. Coming up through here, through that point, way up here, up to this maximum turning point, down through the y-axis, and then tailing off to the asymptote. And we've got to put that asymptote in, so we'll just do that. We said that would be at y equals 4. OK, so mark that in across there, y equals 4. This point here, maximum point, will be at minus 2, but 
4 times more than the 5, minus 2, 20. So we should have a curve then looking like that. Well, one more to go, and we're now on to C, where we've got to draw the graph of y equals f of all of x plus 1. When you get something like this in brackets, if you've got plus 1, a plus number, it translates the graph by this number of units, but to the left. Okay, So it's going to move one unit, in this case, to the left. So if we draw our graph over the top of this one here, let's just draw it in green. Okay, We'll just sketch it over the top again, here we go, down through there, down to the asymptote. Okay, so we'll just grab hold of that graph and now slide it to the left, say by one unit, something like that. Okay, we'll just push it up a little bit. There you go. All right. So we need to mark on the relevant points and as for the asymptote, well, that's going to stay exactly the same, y equals 1. But this point here is going to have moved over one place, so it will now be at minus 3, 5. Well, this graph's in the way, so we'll just remove it, and then we can mark that in. Minus 3, 5. And we'll put that asymptote back in. Let's just mark it across here. Okay. And... Mark it in then as y equals 1. So hopefully that's given you an idea then of how to transform the graphs.